How do you think that the scholarship will further your career? From the beginning of my career, I sort of had you know, a pretty um, drafted projection of where I wanted to be, and London was definitely there, but it was it was a long way down, down the track from now. The, the scholarships pretty much just um, just boosted me in terms of you know obviously the um, the funding to get over here is quite a, a big factor for me, and I'm sure for a lot of chefs, you know, it's not a you know money making profession. You've got, you've got to be in it because you love it, and um, it is hard to get over here. And the, the scholarships just jump those few stepping stones, which for me would have taken a few years, but I've been lucky enough to get there now. So it's just she's given me the opportunity to be able to get to where I want to be a bit faster and just exposing me to a lot more techniques at a younger age and at an earlier stage of my career. So I've got a lot longer to keep learning and keep absorbing before I start teaching to others. Oh, that's lovely. I love that as an ambition, the teaching to others. Um that I'm sure Oliver Shaw would be delighted to hear you say this if he were with us now. <laughs> yeah. So thinking about all of the things you've already gone through and how you've won the scholarship, yep. what what sort of advice do you think you'd give to someone who's considering applying for it and um, taking it up? Well, someone, who, someone who's considering it, I'd say probably stop considering it and just do it because it's such a good opportunity and, and, and to say no, it's just such a waste. Um, there's no harm in trying. You've just got to, you've just got to have a go, take the opportunities, and just be brave enough to take that step to come overseas. Leaving your friends and family behind can be really tough, and it was, it was a tough decision for me. But at the end of the day, if, if you want to benefit your, your career, if you want to be the best chef you can, you've got to expose yourself to new things. And, um, and overseas, and London, and wherever you may go is somewhere different to what you're used to, and somewhere different to where everyone else is learning. And you've just got to work hard and take it as it comes, and just push, push as hard as you can. Just yeah. push and learn and absorb as much as you possibly can because, you know, it's it's not it's an opportunity like this don't come around too often and you know it's 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 criminal to say no and, and to pass them by. So you would advocate it for anybody? Any chef that's looking to further their career. Yes, apply. any chef. So it's not a holiday, is it? <laughs> not at all. It's not it's not a holiday. You're not going to be sitting on the beach. You're going to be working working your bum off. And um and that's that's how it is and that's what the industry's like and that's where it's the same as any kitchen. And what you gotta remember is at the end of the day, kitchen's a kitchen. They're the same everywhere. It's just you're learning different things, working with different people, you're exposed to different things and you know, it's just a it's just a great environment, it's a great learning environment.